lot of work to sprinkle honey in the canary in the coal mine. I'm sorry, guys. It just looks so yummy. Well, it's no matter. We still got our treasure. Yeah, yeah, that's great, guys. But uh, I'm still really hungry. That canary didn't do it for me. Well, I suppose we can open the treasure down in the tavern. Come on, let's go. Keep one table for three, please. Why, certainly. Make yourselves comfortable. All right, let's have a look at that treasure. All right, let's see what we got here. We got a silver statue. Next. Roman coin. Next. Diamond studded necklace. Next. The crown jewels. Next. The holy grail. Next. Hang on a minute. There's something else in here. What's this? <gasps> it's a piece of paper! Hang on a minute, there's something written on it. Wait a minute. This is a map to the magic paintbrush. The magic paintbrush?! The magic paintbrush is a load of hooey, and you know it. I don't believe that. Look! According to this map, if we follow this path, we'll be led right to it! We can't lose! We'll be rich! Look, Charles, you gotta trust me on this. You and Twinkle go back to the hotel and pack. I'll go get supplies. Ha! <laughs> All right, Twinkle, let's go. <whistles> Hello, my lad. Philippus is the name. I couldn't help overhearing that you had come into possession of a map to a magic paintbrush. Such childish foolery. I'd be happy to take it off your hands. No use carrying garbage around with you, after all. That's a very kind offer, sir, but I'm afraid I'm going to use this map. I don't believe the magic paintbrush is bogus at all. Have a good day, anyway. Oh! Hey, boss! Well, buddy, I see you're preparing some dinner today. Prepare to be excited. Because it turns out, we found a way to get the magic paintbrush. Only problem is, it's in the hands of some moron. That's great! Do you like what I made, boss? It took a long time! It does look pretty delicious. Say, where'd you get the money? Oh, I found it in that safe marked Do Not Touch! Magic paintbrush operation! There was just enough to buy all the food! Great Scots! You idiot! Now we have no money to fund our trip, and just as I found those three ninkin' poops, too. Alright, that's the last shirt. That only took three hours, but I'm all packed. Uh, uh, Charles, it's a catastrophe. I lost my last food. Uh, maybe, it's a, maybe it's in a showcase. Uh, uh, oh, where could it be? Okay. <laughs> hey guys, I'm back with the supplies. How are things? Oh. Well, now that you've wasted all of our money on that lavish dinner, we're going to have to act quickly. Okay, Barney. You're going to sabotage them. Their group is bound by their friendship, but they each have flaws. Your job is to exploit them. Gotcha, boss! My job is to make sure that they all hate each other, and to make sure that we get the brush before they get the chance. That's right, Bonnie, and if you do a good job, I might just give you something when I get my hands on that magic paintbrush. Oh boy! All right, fellas, we're going on an adventure that can bring fame and glory. But we don't know what we're going to face out there, so we have to stick together. That's the most important thing. If we stick together, no one can beat us. Well, I'll certainly try. <laughs> Alright guys, we're ready to learn supplies, so we need to stop at a village. Let's see. According to this map, there should be a village right there! 
At the top of the mountain. How on earth do you expect us to get up there? Why, we'll walk, of course. All right, fellas, follow me. Hmm, if only there were a large animal that could get me up that mountain without making me work. Aha! Man, this hill sure is steep. What's that? Look out! All right, fellas, we did it. We Why, there's your prey bunny. Now you know what to do. Break them apart, starting with that giraffe. No problem, boss. When I'm done with him, he'll crack like a paper egg. Anyways, on to the main course of business. We need to find a shop. Why, looky there. There's a shop right now. I'll go there and get some supplies. You guys stay here. <laughs> What's that smell? <gasps> it might be food. We gotta go. Uh-oh. I'm stuck. Oh, Charles, he happened again. Why, hiya, shopkeep. How are things around town? Oh, it's all good. It's all good. Say, do you see those two bozos over there? Man, sure wouldn't want to be associated with them. Uh, actually, I know those two. They're, they're my friends. We're here on an adventure. Well, good luck with that. Those two will be so busy chasing their own tails, you'll be better off on your own. Now, just a minute. Those two may not be perfect, but they're my pals, and I'm sticking with them. Just, just give me the supplies, and I'll be gone. All right, but you'll be sorry. Why have all the rude partner? Well, I got the supplies, guys. How'd it go? Smooth as a pickle. Now let's get out of here. Rats. They may have gotten away this time, Bonnie. But next time, we'll make sure they don't walk away unscathed. We just have to strike at a different member of their group. Gerald, I'm tired. We need to rest. You know, I agree with you, Charles. Let's sit camp here. We'll take a little nap. Twinkle, do you mind standing guard? Why, not at all. Psst! Twinkle! Twinkle! Who are you? Are you my conscience? Yeah, um, yeah, I'm your conscience, Twinkle! Twinkle, you've got to eat all that food over there. But that's the food for the mission. I can't eat that food. But Twinkle! Your conscience, you have to eat all that food. It's gotta be done, Twinkle. No, no, I, I can't do that. Alright, that's your Townsfolk, you can throw all of Charles' clothes on the ground, but you've just ruined everything! What do you have to say for yourself? You know I don't speak cat! I'm sorry. I'm only holding you guys back. I'll go. Alright, well, Twinkle's left. But we still have each other, Charles. Now let's go. Continue on our trip. All right, Charles, look at it. The cavernous caves. All we have to do is get through them, and we'll be led right to the magic paintbrush. We're so close. Wow, look at all the wonders. Charles, isn't this impressive? Oh, I've heard about this diamond. It's the most valuable thing in this whole cavern. But Charles, don't touch it. Even the slightest movement can make the whole cave crumble. Now, you stay here, and I'll go find the exit. Mm, if 
probably shouldn't. No, I won't. Mm, yeah, what the hell? Uh oh. Buster's gonna be so happy with this one. What the? Oh, well, I guess I won't be eating this chicken soup. Oh. Maybe I'll hold on to it a little longer, just in case. Uh. Charles, what were you thinking? You could have got us both killed. You know what? When I thought of this adventure, I thought it would bring friendship and glory, but all I found is destruction. I'm done with you. I'm going home! Take the map! Of all the stupid things to do. Ah, phooey. Mm, just wait till boss sees what I got! Ah, to heck with Gerald. I've got my diamond. Now all I've got to do is make it down to the pawn shop with this baby in one piece, and I'll be a millionaire! Alright, Bethany, now I want to hear an A. But just like we did last week. Bethany, now let's hear a B. Boss, I got the map! Why, excellent, Bonnie. Give me here, give me here. Uh, it's finally mine. The map! So how's the boss my reward, boss? Why, of course, Bonnie. I almost forgot. Mm, let's see. I could give you a thousand dollars. No, no. I could give you a private army. No, no. I could give you... <gasps> That's it, Bonnie. You're fired! Get out of here! And never show your face near me again! <laughs> I'm all alone. I've got no map. I've got no magic paintbrush. And I've got no friends. What's left for a fellow to do but get a drink? Hey buddy, play something happy. Peace and quiet at last. Maybe this will soothe my nerves. <laughs> Listen, pal, we all have problems, but some of us are trying to think about them in peace. That voice. I know that voice. You. have to be worth something. Charles! Boy, Charles, I'm so glad I found you. We gotta act quick. Twinkle's waiting for us near the bottom of the mountain. But if Filibuster gets the magic paintbrush, we is lost. Who the heck is Filibuster? Oh, right, he's the guy who's trying to sabotage our group. What? Yeah, the drunken bee told me in a bar. Well, that's good enough for me. Let's go. All right, fellas, if my memory of the map served me right, we just have to make it up this mountain and we'll be right at the magic paintbrush. I just hope we're not too late. Finally at the top! What a valiant try, but unfortunately you're too late, boys. And now you'll get to witness the power of the magic paintbrush. Right. I did it! We did it, guys! Not 
so fast, buddy boy. How do you face a behemoth like that? What do we do, guys? Don't worry, I prepare for this exact moment. Well, there goes Twinkle. Oh, look! The giant dropped his sword! <sighs> Alright, Gerald. You wanna play with swords? Let's play. Mm. Alright, Gerald. You've come this far. Let's not drop the ball now. The fate of the world rests in your hands. So don't screw it up! Let's fight him! Well, Gerald, it appears the best mom has won. Now, prepare to die. You've got nowhere to run now. Got it! I've got the paintbrush! What the? Get it back! I'll just have to find the other artifact that was dropped by that witch into the woods. The magic toothbrush! <laughs> I'll be powerful again, just you watch! Everyone will have minty fresh teeth because of me! Alright guys, we did it! We accomplished our goal! But uh, Gerald, we didn't actually um, get the magic paintbrush. But don't you see Twinkle? That doesn't matter anymore! By the power of our friendship, we were able to beat that tyrant, and now he's off looking for some toothbrush! We did it, guys! What do you say? Let's go have a drink at the tavern to celebrate our old times! Oh, maybe I can finally get that food I've been looking for. Alright, let's go!